Hey everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? Today we're going to be talking about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Isn't this fun? It's just like a sleepover. <gasps> we should order pizza. Big cosmos. Harley, focus. Okay. Officially start this review. I just want to say thank you to the studio for hooking us up with a bunch of like cool little Deal we got a nice little mallet. They even gave us a little keychain like this and little keychain is actually hard Birds of prey for short because that is one long ass name um, So basically we're gonna follow the story of a Harley Quinn of uh, following a suicide squad I'll go ahead and tell you off the bat this is better than suicide squad now i am let me put this down because you know yeah no i talk a lot with my hands um i know a lot of people were not fans of suicide squad i enjoyed it i had nothing against it i mean honestly after i saw it a couple more times i was like okay i i kind of get where people are going but going in i had a good time with suicide squad now i'm going to say it again and please do not dislike me please don't hate me i'm not like a comic book junkie um i didn't watch any of like the dc um cartoons growing up so i don't know much about anything when it comes to a lot of these uh, comic book inspired movies so from somebody who does not have the comic books or the TV shows to compare this to. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Oh, I did forget to do my little like info at the beginning. Um, rated R, hour 49 minutes long, comes out February the 7th. And then as you can tell, I have a bunch. Oh, actually, the camera doesn't catch it. For the most part, it is a all-female cast. So, let me take a quick a little deal to Elizabeth Banks. This is how you do a badass action full women cast that is also directed by a female this is how you do it not the shit charlie angels that you did all right let's get back over here um the fight sequences are awesome uh, i believe the choreographer for john wick or something somebody who had to do something with john wick was part of this movie so obviously i'm not gonna like say it's like exactly like john wick but just kind of think Birds of Prey is like John Wick's little sister in a way because their fight sequences were really really good um they're not as choreographed as John Wick chapter 3 which was my only issue with that movie uh, but they have like the these these women back here they full-on can handle themselves they're freaking badass I really enjoyed all of them so of course Margot Robbie killed it as Harley Quinn again Ewan McGregor was another one that really stole the show for me quite honestly I don't ever think I've actually seen Ewan McGregor in a role like this I could be mistaken because I, I haven't seen like all his movies but in what I've seen him I don't really think I've seen him in something like this you can totally totally tell that he's having a blast so he plays Roman aka Black Mask in this movie Again, I don't know who Black Mask is in the comic books, what kind of character he plays there. But I really, really enjoyed him in this movie. Um, you do only see him in the Black Mask once. But I mean, I guess that's like a spoiler. But to kind of pre-warn for the hardcore comic book, you know, cartoon fans, you know, don't go in with like all these like high expectations. Because I feel you may be a little bit disappointed. But for people who are like me who just generally just enjoy a good movie that's not gonna bother you I really liked this villain so he would be like the main bad guy but then there's also Victor played by Chris Messina I I don't know yeah no I'm horrible with names so I've seen Gotham okay that's literally like the only like TV like uh, superhero movie that I watch is Gotham it's probably one of the only things that I really was just not that here for the guy from Gotham who plays as that's the one that I liked. And like he should have maybe played him more in kind of like that direction because I it, it worked. Like the way that he played some in Gotham would have worked in this movie as well. But that's just my opinion. If you've seen the movie and if you've seen Gotham, um, which Victor did you prefer? Uh, let me know down below. I loved all the colors that they used in the movie. And oh my god, I love the soundtrack that they had in here. I feel like it fit perfectly with it they were on tone they were on point it wasn't like the rhythm section where they were just like cut it off just randomly the costumes were also really good oh my god there's this one part i could totally totally relate this is literally the only spoiler that i'm going to give you but technically it's not really like a big like spoiler it's just like oh my god i felt for harley basically it involved a breakfast sandwich you guys and mind you i don't like eggs and i don't like bacon i know what 
don't don't at me about it the way that she was looking at this breakfast sandwich being made mind you this was after like a night of partying and drinking so she was technically in a way i guess like hung over but you know she is one of those lucky bastards that does not actually get a hangover i'm not one of those i'm so jealous and i hate all of y'all who are able to just bounce right back after a night of partying i hate all of you it really brought me back to my like 20s when you know after a night of drinking and, and and dancing we would go out to go get some tacos or some gorditas or like dinnies or ihop whatever and oh my god you guys y'all remember how good that food tasted you know it hardly was just like <laughs> like seriously i was just like oh my god i can totally relate because i that's how i look at food like oh my god oh my god like the worst thing happened i knew that was gonna happen you guys i knew it i was just like oh my god like protect your sandwich at all costs and oh my god she attempted to but nope she got tackled and the sandwich flew out and it was in slow motion you guys so petty but i love that scene you guys and she's like when it's coming down she's on the floor she's all like you guys i literally felt her pain like so if you've seen this movie and you felt her pain please like this video okay let's go ahead and get to the bad as much as i love this movie i because i really do enjoy it um it's not perfect this is kind of where i'm gonna get a little bit to my spoiler section but i'm really gonna try to not give you big spoilers mine's called birds of prey i really don't know honestly it should have just been called the fantabulous emancipation of one harley quinn because this is technically harley quinn's movie and then maybe just had like birds of prey at the bottom how that other big ass long name is down here again to all the fanatics who are were expecting a birds of prey movie this isn't really that i mean this is more of how they got together you know and how it kind of began but quite honestly you really only get all of them together in the third act uh which involves a really nice like fight sequence nay and black canary are possibly the only ones that have some sort of interaction with harley quinn before the final act um but other than that um oh i guess huntress has like a small little deal but they never she never officially interacts with harley as i am with uh, huntress to all my ramona flower fans out there don't expect to see her too much i think from all of them she's possibly the one that has the least amount of screen time i um, mean but she, when she is on screen she does steal all her scenes in my opinion so this next thing i'm about to say i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing but i do know that a lot of people are not quite fond of these things so i'm just putting it over here but it does kind of have a little bit of a deadpool vibe to it where harley does break that fourth wall a couple times throughout the film then we do get a lot of like flashbacks um throughout the film as well you know that the flashbacks or breaking that fourth wall does bring a lot of people out of the movie that's not the case for me but i just want to bring that out in case that is the case for you uh the last thing is that it does have a in credit scene all the way at the end of the credits it's not worth you staying honestly it's not so this is going to be the only spoiler that i'm going to officially give you at the end we just hear harley quinn come back on is saying oh you guys are still here well while you're here let me go ahead and tell you something and then she's like and batman and then it just cuts off and that's all you get close your eyes and just replay that in a harley quinn voice and it's the same thing you guys so you can of course stay to the end that's totally your decision if you want to actually hear harley quinn say those words but this one thing i think i heard somewhere that she's supposed to have two hyenas i don't know let me know down below but she only has one and of course from the trailers which is not a spoiler hyena's name is bruce all right so that's all that i have to say for birds of prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one harley quinn this is going to get dun, da, 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 a large popcorn rating yes it's not perfect but i had a heck of a good time with this movie you guys i mean from the trailers i got that i was going to have a good time well the hopes of me having a good time and i did i left the theater smiling ear to ear and so but of course before you guys click out of this video let me know did you like it did you love it did you hate it was this movie just not for you and don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye